guys, good evening. This is Faith and with Elegance for Less. Thank you so much for choosing to watch this video tonight. I am going to do two DIYs for you in this one video, so I'm going to try to make it quick and easy as possible. If this is your first time to my channel, thank you so much for choosing to watch. I hope that you will like the video and if you do give me a thumbs up share with your family and friends and i hope you'll consider being a part of our family we love to um, create things that are inexpensive and make them gorgeous make them elegant for less money so with that said i have two of the dollar tree candle um, well, they're not candle holders, they're cylinders, but I'm going to use them as candle holders today. And um, I have two of the, let's hold these up. They can be candle holders. Some people use them as candle holders. I went ahead and spray paint, and I spray painted the back, and I just touched it. It wasn't dry. So I'm going to have to spray paint it again. I just messed it up um, but I wanted to cut down the process by spray painting them getting that out of the way it's no really a big deal I'll just touch it up so you will need these little plates here and the Dollar Tree sells the small ones these two I actually hauled at the Goodwill they had them for $1.18 and then um, 50% off, so I thought that was a great deal, so I purchased it. Then you'll need, but you can find the small ones at the Dollar Tree, and I want to say um, Michael's Hobby Lobby or Joanne's Fabric has the larger ones. Then you'll need two of the Dollar Tree candle holders and the tea light holder. I'm only using one of those. Okay, so we're going to jump right in, but before I do that, let me go ahead and spray that so it can be drying while I do the others. You will, I forgot to mention, you definitely need to have your glue gun, glue sticks, and I think, I'm not certain, but I'm thinking I want to add some of the Walmart small gems as well, and you will need some beads. Now, at a estate sale, I've shared with you guys several times, I hauled a whole bag of beads for one dollar. And so, these are a part of the beads that I hauled. You probably can haul these from Joann's or Hobby Lobby as well. I've seen them somewhere. I can't, I can't remember where I've seen them, but... I believe it's Hobby Lobby or Joanne's fabric because of the fabric and the sewing. So you will need some beads or you can use the Dollar Tree regular beads. But I love these because they've got different sizes on them. Let's bring it over so you can see. And just adorable. I love that. All right. So you will need some of those. I will be right back. Let's go in spring. Okay, guys. So I went ahead and... Did the touch up on that and now I want to go ahead and add flip this over and add a generous amount of glue Try and work quickly because you don't want your glue to dry on you. Mine seems to be drying. Generous amount. Okay going to leave that to the side hopefully
hopefully that this dries. Same process, generous amount of glue. Find the center. Press. And now our stand is finished. So I'm going to move it to the side and start on my candle holder. So basically what you want to do is <clears throat> add here, forgot to mention, I'm forgetting a lot today. Um, this is from the Hobby Lobby. This is a large diamond wrap. It's like a diamond wrap it's just larger and it has like studs on it absolutely beautiful love it so I I hold that a while ago I think I shared it with you guys I'm not for sure but basically I went ahead and wrapped the top because I want the top to be clear in order to for the candles to um, shine through dispose of this for a bit so I went ahead and wrapped it so I know where I want my diamond wrap to be. Then I wrapped it with paper, newspaper and tape. Spray painted it the color of your choice. I decided to go with rose gold because that's pretty popular right now. I originally was thinking that I was going to do one of the candle um, tea light but I decided I want to do two so I'm going to flip that over Making sure that's the center, I hope. Flip it back over. Okay, slide it. To the side. We're going to leave it to the side and let them dry. Okay guys, so I believe I've mentioned before not to spray paint the actual area that you're going to place food on. So if you believe you're going to use this as a cake stand or uh, finger foods or anything to do with digesting it, do not spray paint it. Um, if it's for your jewelry, then it doesn't matter. But I would say... To be on the safe side so it can be multi-purpose you can do whatever you want whatever you want I would say spray paint the underneath so you can use it now I want to add my glue and the great thing is because I've got the other one down and makes it easy. Alright, let's center this. I think that looks great. Okay. So we can use this for whatever it is you want. Oh, got a little paint there. Now I want to take my beads. Got tangled. 
and I want to add them. This process you'll have to go very slow. The reason why these do flip up. So let's lay the glue down. Lay your beads. We're going to go very slowly. And I need to come closer because I want you to be able to see this. So, like you can see, they flip up. So you want to go slowly so you can make sure that they're not flipping up. Make sure that they are straight. Just like that. I believe I'm getting it straight. All right, I'm going to take it all the way around and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I went ahead to add the beads to the... It's pretty heavy actually. Which is good because then you don't have to worry about it tilting over. I finished the candle holder. I added some of the Walmart beads around the edge of the candle holder along with the Hobby Lobby diamond wrap. I love the way they turned out. I think they look really nice. Now I'm going to light um, some candles and let you take a look at what they will look like once you have your candle together and I'll just decorate this a bit so that you guys have an idea. All right, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is how it turned out. I absolutely love, love all of it. I love the candle holder. I think it's absolutely fabulous. The cake or jewelry stand is beautiful. I just display some roses on it some paper roses let me know what you guys think if you do like this give me a thumbs up I hope you will share with your family and friends and if you're not a subscriber I hope you will hit the subscribe button and become a part of this family I truly appreciate your time and your support and your communication thank you so much for all the comments you guys made it is such a blessing to me and i truly appreciate it thank you and i will see you tomorrow on my next diy